Libra, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate if it doesn't check out with the placements. Alright, Libra, let's see. So, Libra, clearly you have been dealing with someone who's non-committal to me, okay? Someone who has an issue with emotional attachment. This person keeps running away from emotional attachment, okay? Which is why, yes, they have a lot of feelings for you. Yes, they love you. But the problem here is that they keep missing it. They keep, you know, sabotaging the connection here. You have been quite fed up out here with this person out here, okay? And now probably this person uh, wants a reconciliation with you. If not a full-blown reconciliation, they definitely want to speak to you, okay? But I do feel that you've given up on this connection. You're pretty fed up from this person. Pretty fed up from them, with them. This person on the other hand here has always been indecisive and they continue being indecisive. But the judgment in reverse here, I'm getting someone here who's not hearing their inner calling. This person has a lack of realization or they do realize what they need to do. They do realize what they gotta do if they wanna make things work out here. But they're not taking that final call. They're not making that decision here. Which is why they keep rep repeating the same negative patterns over and over and over again. Overall, for the current situation, seven of wands in reverse. So I do feel that this person here had their guards up for sure but now they're letting their guards down okay so this person here could come off as a loner someone who likes to be on their own someone who does not let other people get in easily in their circle they're ready to let their guards down now and now they are okay to let you in why because probably you've done something where this person now feels oh now i can trust libra now i feel that libra is not a complete cycle so yeah i feel this person is letting their guards down if this is not their guard letting their guards down i feel this could be you who was fighting for this connection all this while and now you're like you know what i'm done you know you're done you're probably just no more fighting for this connection because you're fed up and tired of fighting for this connection you know what i'm getting here is that there's been so there's this couple here okay there's libra and then there's the person you're dealing with the person you're dealing with does have emotions for you like i said but this person here loves their freedom the most important thing to this person is their freedom this person wants constant change okay this person keeps getting bored very fast is what i'm getting it's very difficult for you libra to keep this person interested in you or you know there's always constant uh how do i say this they want that constant motivation that you know it's very difficult to keep this person around okay plus having their guards up so you know you kind of get confused like whoa what's really going on do you want me do you not want me one moment you want me the next moment your guards are up you know so that's the kind of deal that we were uh, going through the other thing i'm seeing here libra is that uh the person the kind of person you're dealing with right this person has they lack sensitivity okay they lack intuition here not as good as you are probably i'm getting impatience from this person also so this person out here it could be someone you know they just need maybe too much or too many justifications and clarifications okay uh they keep giving too many justifications clarifications for their actions you know or why they're lacking blah 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 okay and uh the biggest mistakes that these people make is that they they keep ignoring the small, quiet, yet the most correct voice inside them. That's what they're doing. And in order to lead a more balanced connection, this person needs to adopt a more balanced approach. Okay? Alright. Now, what I'm, what is happening here is that I think you both are not taking action right now. Uh, uh, this person out here is not taking action. Why? Because this person has a lot of love for you okay but the problem here is this person is coming off as very imbalanced like i said right emotionally shut off emotionally unavailable and that's exactly what the problem is here i think you're giving up rather than this person letting you in i feel you're giving up out here now you're shut off all this while i think you had your head and heart in balance head and heart in place but now you're giving up you're emotionally unavailable to this person because you feel defeated right you feel defeated you're walking away now, what you feel about the situation deep down is with the Four of Cups in reverse. You feel that this person did have an opportunity to come towards you, to make things right, you know, to solve the issue here. Maybe they even did. But I think because of the lack of expression, this person missed an opportunity. And now for you, it's like, you know what? It is what it is. It's a missed opportunity. I'm just going to let it go. This person on the other hand here with Ace of Wands, this person wants a brand new beginning with you. This person wants to initiate 
uh, and take action towards you and wanting to start a brand new cycle with you. We have the Ace of Wands here, so this person definitely wants nothing to do with the past here. Without an apology, this person wants to start something brand new with you. Okay. So yeah, you're definitely dealing with someone here who knows they've done the wrong thing here, but it's just going to be a hard time for them to understand or realize, what did I do so wrong? I just didn't want to be emotionally attached. Why is it so difficult for everyone to understand that? And in fact, what happens here is that this person thinks that you betrayed them. Okay, but they still want a brand new beginning with you, whether you want it or not, that's a different story out here. What action you're planning on to taking? You're taking no action towards this person out here, okay? I feel you're very sensitive, very intuitive, unlike this person here, but you tend to get easily hurt here. So what I'm seeing here is that you, rather than getting hurt and rather than being overly sensitive and involving yourself emotionally with this person again, I feel you're choosing to just stay balanced. You're choosing to stay emotionally detached. Because out here, you have two options here and both options look don't look good to you, okay? Either you want to let this person go completely or then you want to stay with this person here. Out here, now you're at like this place where you're like, I don't know what to do. Should I even go with this person? But this is what they keep doing over and over again. Do I still want to waste my time? And should I let this person go? How am I going to be able to let this person go? Because I have my emotions and work here. Okay, so you're like, you know what? I'm just going to choose to ignore this entire situation out here. Okay? This person out here with Ace of Pentacles, like I said, they have two Aces on their side. Both of them, new beginnings here. Not only are they very passionate about you, they're very driven and very motivated to take action towards you. But with Ace of Pentacles, I feel this person out here wants to offer you something more stable, something more serious, something that's more grounded out here, okay? But ultimately with the Six of Pentacles in reverse here, I feel when this person comes to you with this opportunity, there are chances that there's going to be an imbalance between you both, okay? You don't really want this... Um, how do I say this? You don't want this balance anymore, okay? Because um, you feel this person does not take responsibilities and you're, you are like, you know what? If you can't take your responsibilities, I'm not about to do them for you, okay? So that's exactly what's happening here. Even though this person wants to come to you, I feel there's a lack of contribution from your side. It's going to be a one-sided situation. Like I said, the, the, the tables are turning, you know, the tables are turning around. And, uh, you know, you could come off to this person as someone very overprotective, very possessive about the connection, right? And uh, sometimes what happens, this, become, this is a tendency to become uh, very negative, okay? Because you could be borderline, you know, extremely restless and stressed, all right? This person out here is someone who needs to be free. All right, so now this is where we have the issues here. With the Six of Pentacles in reverse, I feel there is an opportunity here where this person does want to come to you, right? But the problem here is that you are in that place of resentment out here. So you're just blocking any potential coming from this person's side. All right, hope you enjoyed this reading. And leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.